What's up, guys? Welcome to Visualization. Nestor Adrian Sen here again. Quick question: Do you review financial statements? If so, period to date totals such as year to date, quarter to date, and month to date are very helpful for your analysis. Guys, today we will learn this critical skill in Power BI. But Before we get started, if you are new to this channel, please let's make sure that you hit the subscribe button so you won't miss anything. All right, so let's do it, guys. For today's tutorial, we have three different points here. The first one, we're gonna learn about period to day totals, the concepts. The second point here, really important as well, syntaxes. And finally, guys, as always, I have a really nice case where we're gonna put everything into practice. So now let's jump into the next slide. So what are period to day totals? A period to day total refers to the period of time beginning the first day of the current calendar year, quarter or month, or it can be also a fiscal year, quarter or month, up to the current date. The second point here, the year to date, quarter to date, and month to date calculations modify the filter context for the day table applying a range of dates as a filter that overrides the filter for the period selected. So as you guys can see here, we're going to use a date table because time intelligence functions work well with a date table. So the third bullet point here, all period to date calculations can be performed using calculate with a time intelligence function or with one of the total functions such as total year to date. So now let's jump to the next slide. Syntaxes, this is really important as well. So on the left, we have by using the calculate function. On the right, we have by using total functions. So the syntaxes is very similar. So on the left, we have a formula and we are using calculate. If you guys remember, calculate has two main parts, the expression, and then we also have the filter argument, right? So the expression is right there. And then for the filter argument, Here we have a time intelligence function, dates year to date, but we can also change it. It can be quarter to date, it can be month to date. So it's right there. This is my favorite. I like to use calculate, but we also have the second option here where you can use the total function. So the syntax is quite straightforward as well. We have the function there, total year to date, and we can change the last piece of this function, right? We can use quarter to date, or we can also use month today. The expression there, and we also have the uh, column that belongs to the calendar table here. So that's how it works, guys. And now the question is, are you ready for the case? So let's do it. Case. The question that we have here is find premium year today, quarter today, and month today totals for the whole program. Hint, use calculate in total functions. Let's jump into Power BI Desktop. All right, so here we are in Power BI Desktop. The first thing that we're gonna do here is to make sure that we have a calendar table. It seems like we do have a calendar table here. It's a days table here. It's right there. There you go. The next step here is to make sure that this table is connected to the claims table. Let's go to model here. Double click here. There is a relationship there. The data format is the same. Cardinality, many to one. Cross filter direction, single. Perfect. We don't have to make any changes here. So that's good. Let's go back to report. Now, this is the time. We have right here three different pages year to date, quarter to date, and also month to date. Let's start with year to date. So now let's create our first measure here. Well, our second measure. New measure here. And we're going to call this measure premium year to date, okay? Equal here. The expression, so we're gonna use the first measure that we have created here, premium amount, okay? So right here, if you guys remember, year to date, date year to date, and we're gonna use the calendar table here or calendar column, which is this one right here the first column that we have created. Close parenthesis, and let's see what happens, enter. 
bone. And now we can also add a comma here as a thousand separator. There you go. So now let's drag this new measure into this matrix, okay? There you go. Let's expand 2010 real quick. There you go. For January, we have 6,910. And then for February, we are basically adding these two months, which is this one right here, 11,460 for March. So the same story there. And finally, in December, we had a total of $72,550, which is this number right here. So that's how it works, my friends. So now let's do the same, but let's use the total function here, okay? Let's expand this a little bit more right there. We're gonna copy this, okay? Control C, create a new measure here, new measure, Control V, and we're gonna make right here a couple of changes, okay? So we're gonna call this number two, and we're gonna change right here the function. For this particular case, we're gonna use total year to date. And also, if you guys remember here, the syntax for this function, it's right there. That's how it works. And then let's approve this change and let's see what happens. So now let's add this new measure into the matrix. There you go. So we are basically getting the same results. See, that's how it works. As you guys can see here, both functions give us the same results. Okay. So now let's go to the next page here, quarter today. Let's do that. So we're gonna do something similar here. We're gonna create a new measure, control V. And here we wanna change the time intelligence function, okay? This should be quarter today. So what other change we can make here? And this, of course, should be quarter today. All right. Premium quarter today. And now let's drag this into this matrix. There you go. So see, for quarter one, we have right here 18,210, right? We are adding, right, every single month here for the first quarter. For January, we had 6,910 for February. So we are basically adding these two months, January and February. And for March, we are adding all these three months. And finally, we have the value here for the first quarter. So guys, it's working perfectly fine. So now let's do the same, but let's use the total function here. Let's copy this measure again, Control C, right click, new measure and we're gonna make a couple of changes here as well total quarter to date and right here we need to remove this there you go let's approve the change let's drag this and release it here There you go. We are getting the same results, so perfect. All right, so now let's go to the next page. Month today. So the analysis here is quite straightforward as well. So we're gonna do the same thing. Right click, new measure. And this should be month today, right? Calculate here, and we're gonna change right here the time intelligence function as well. This should be month to date, right there. And let's approve this change. And let's drag this into the matrix and let's see what happens. Boom. There you go, my friends. So here we are basically adding every single day, right? There you guys have it, see? For, for January 1st, we have 420. January 2nd, we had 
1020, which is basically the sum between these two first days. That's how it works. This is working perfectly fine. All right, so we're gonna do the same, but we need to use a total function here. Right click here again, new measure. And we're gonna change this to month to date, number two here. And then this should be month to date, remember? Total month to date. And the other change here is to remove the time intelligence function. Let's try that. Let's approve the change and let's see what happens. And let's add a comma here. There you go. And now let's drag this into the matrix. There you go, my friends. Bingo, bingo, bingo. We are getting the same results. Perfect, my friends. That's how it works. So what do you think so far? Do you like these functions? Do you find them helpful? Let me know. Leave your thoughts or comments in the comment section below. So let's go back to our presentation and see what else we have. That was it, guys. Thank you very much for being part of this tutorial. As always, if you find this helpful, give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss anything. Thank you, guys, and see you in my next tutorial.